scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black, trimmed in the flag of the Philippines and Mexico, he weighed it officially 134 and one quarter pounds. In 30 bouts as a professional, his record stands at 21 victories, nine defeats, six wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, here is the technician, Ray Perez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Where is tonight? Gold trimmed in black and silver. He weighed in 134 and three quarter pounds and in 19 bouts has 18 victories. Just one defeat, 15 big wins coming by way of knockout. The fighting pride of Buena Park, California. Here is Christian Chimpa Gonzalez. And your referee in charge of the action, Raul Caiz Jr. with the final instructions. Fighter chief second only, please. Fighter chief second only, please. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. All right, gentlemen, you receive the instructions in the dressing room. Know what I expect. A good, clean fight. Legal punches here for you. Legal punches here for you. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Christian Chimpa Gonzalez, 22 years old, in the gold. Ray Perez has the right hand. Gonzalez got, came right out and got hit with a good right hand. I'm Gonzalez faced a Filipino. He was knocked out cold by Romero Duno. He's getting hit, b -hop. And Ray Perez but gets hit with the right. Looking slow is Gonzalez. Watch your head, Christian. Watch your head. You know, Gonzalez has to get warmed up. And you know what? Sometimes you don't get a chance to get warmed up, but hit. And at least as, as often as he can hit, because right now he's just rocking into punches that you know he can he can avoid. But Perez is not scared at all. He just threw a nice punch, left hand, then turned that same left hand before he brought it back into a left hook. You know this is a toe to toe fight. Have you seen it? These guys just trying to load up on their punches. Ten seconds, Ten seconds to go in the Ten opening seconds. round. Christian Chipa Gonzalez, Ray Perez. In Indio, California. Bernard, exactly what you said. His father telling him, you're not moving, you're not jabbing. You can't just throw one punch. And Ray Perez coming out strong right away. Going upstairs as Chipa looks slow and Perez looks fluid. And he's got a good lather going to him now. Yeah, he has the really good rhythm. He was told to come out, throw punches, but throw with speed and power. Ray Perez is like a technician. He continue to what? Bang the body, stay close, and get the better combinations. You, you said it, Bernard. They're just going to be willing to go tip for tap. Here we go. And it seems like now, you know, who gets in with us trying to uh, impress each other with their will and combinations. Blood from the left eyebrow of Gonzalez. Body shot from Perez. People covering up. Because both of these guys, in their minds, they want to break each other's will. And guess what? It's going to take a lot from both guys to pull each other to the point where they want to back up. Or either guy, either guy. That was a good punch on the foot. Yep. And he got some reaction. Perez wobbled Chipa. He's on the ropes. He's bleeding. Solid round for the Filipino ten with 10 seconds, seconds to go. Seconds. It's scheduled for eight. Bonus coverage. Gonzalez and Perez slugging it out in India. So he just threw two good little jabs, but I like to see him throw the right hand to the body now. He's just throwing one jab, one jab, one jab. He must put something behind him. Chipa's dad telling him, you're losing. Body work from Chipa. Well, his dad telling him the truth, and that's to motivate him to throw combinations like that. Paying no attention to him. And he's fighting like that, like he's the guy. See the punches right now? He's smart enough to win. Good right hand by the Filipino Perez. They're just leaning on each other. 
Right from Gonzalez. A right from Perez. A left from Perez. Gonzalez is leaning on the ropes and getting attacked to the body. Perez hit him on the body. Hit him on the belt. Another right hand landed by Ten Perez. Seconds, stop at the bell. Ten Solid seconds. round for the Filipino. Watch your hands. That's Gonzalez corner. Interesting to see. His dad said, slash trainer, because they that's what's going to be effective. And he's trying sincerely. So when you put all those together, you have to like give this man a chance. You have to give Gonzalez a chance. And he's getting that chance tonight. Usually Gonzalez is the one leading the fight. Usually it seems like he's the one in control of the fight. Perez seems like he's the one controlling it, the Filipino. He's controlling it based on combinations. Aim for one of those combinations. If we see the replay later, that's good body shot. The left from Perez. And they're posing their will on each other. I throw a body shot, you throw a body shot. That's why for any young fighter out there, you must always come prepared, always come ready. Hands, because Watch fights can happen like this at any fight that you take. And so this is, a, this is the, the reward of it, is that you're there defending yourself, and you can defend yourself. One cut because of the punches. Final seconds of the fourth round. Christian Gonzalez, Ray Perez, grinding. In India. Headbutt, the second one. But the first cut was a result of a punch. Done with four. As Ray Perez starts the fifth round strong. I fight and I send money back to the Philippines. Right now, Perez is, is actually mugging him, staying on top of him. Work he's been put in. Conditioning and being active to the end. So you got to put both of those together. The fighter who has to fight for his wife and kids. This fight is not one-sided on either side. I see this fight being very, very close. Little edge to one, little edge to the other. Depending on how you look at it and how you score it. This is an inside, back and forth fight. Perez representing Zamboanga, the North of the Philippines. About an hour flight from Manila. And Perez does that every time, every round. He comes out really strong. He comes out letting the judges know that he's in control. And that's a smart corner move by letting their fighter know, look, when the bell ring go right out, throw four, five punch combination. And so Perez is doing what he's supposed to do is continue to throw punches. Bouncing around Perez, solid right by the Filipino. Chief on the ropes, gets hit by the body. Perez with the sharper punches. Chief wild with what his. A great right hand. What yes. a good, and he took that hand. He took that right hand. Oh, solid right by Perez. Cheap answers with the left, but Perez is right there. This is a fight of heart, guts. Solid round for Ray Perez. He's trying to close it strong. Look for this round and the next round for Gonzalez now to go all the way out or get knocked out trying. And Perez again starts the round strong. Chimpo back against the ropes. Staying on top of him. Perez is so smart to stay on top of Gonzalez and not let him get off. He hit me with combinations now to the body and coming up with the left hook from either guy. Defense makes a good offense. We might see the first knockdown of the fight. He looks dashed. He to left. He's trying to hold on. Perez giving himself some room to work. Gonzalez on the rope. Perez. Ten seconds. Solid round. There's that uppercut, b -hop.
how you doing to hit him with the one-two. The punch he's been hitting with really all day when he continued to hit him through the whole fight. A bunch of combinations put this away. Straight right hand, right on the money. It's the last run. Let's see if he do it. The ref still loading up on his shots. Right hand from Perez. Either Perez can't take a cane punch, or Gonzalez can take a hell of a punch. They wanted to see what Gonzalez had in him. They stepped him up with a tough guy like Ray Perez. It'll be the night that Christian Gonzalez fails the test. Ten Final steps. seconds of the Three. fight. Ten seconds. Stop at the bell. Then grinding, then slugging, then back and forth. This is for that bell. It's Ray Perez, Christian Gonzalez. They go the distance. Eight tough rounds. Perez said he knew he was the opponent and control the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards one more time. Fight fans for the war between the ropes tonight. Put your hands together, Indio. <laughs> and here are the judges' totals. Both Dr. Lou Moret and Fernando Villarreal have it 79-73. Raul Cai Sr. scores at 78-74. All for your winner by unanimous decision. The technician, Ray Bell.